So we're here at PRGE <laughs> with Chris Spry and his game Robots. I'm here? You are here, yay! Yes! And in his awesome game, <laughs> Robots Head. Thank you. Um, so tell uh, us a little bit about Robots Head and, all right. uh, and where this idea came from. Idea came from, well, um, after I had done Zippy the Porcupine, I just... Big success. Oh, thanks. Six. Yeah. Um, I thought about doing another game. I wasn't quite sure what to do, um, but there was um, like some ideas I did have. There's a few inspirations on the past, like when I did Princess Rescue and Zippy. Of course, you know what those inspirations yeah, it's are, infamous right? Infamous games. Right. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, you know exactly where those came from. However, this one I wanted to be kind of more original, but yet inspired from other games. Yes. Yep. So it's like, okay, I, I really love the Mega Man line. Oh yeah, I, everybody loves that. Yep. Game. Yeah. And I love like the idea of what uh, Kirby games do. Right. To yep. be able to uh, get the power of your enemy while you're playing. Yes. So in a way, I kind of combined those two features into one game. Yeah. So that was something I wanted to do. I want really what I wanted to try to do was make a game for the Atari that you probably wouldn't think you would ever see. Yeah. And this is definitely one of those where it's multi-screen, multi-level as yes. well. Yes. And I've and changed bosses. it. I've yeah. changed it a little bit too since you've uh, last played it. Yeah. So now, actually, it's still multi-level and everything. Yeah. However, um, now uh, you actually warp in and out of like four different sections of the same level, oh. and you have to defeat four enemies Within before you. Level. Yes. Oh, so okay. you have to defeat four enemies here, and then you have to. Uh, then you get warped out into another section, defeat another four, get warped out into another section four times. Wow. Then it warps you into a hallway area where you just run through and yeah. it, defeat the enemies that are in there. You don't have to defeat those guys. Okay. But it's a good idea so you can get some power-ups so before hitting the boss. It sounds like it's more linear than before? Or a little bit. A little bit more linear. Okay. However, it still randomly selects which section you're going to. Okay. So that's still the random part of it. Okay. Mm. That's excellent. So have you been watching people play this a while little bit. here? And, yep. Uh, have <laughs> <laughs> have you kind of kind of been listening in or seeing what their reactions are? So what did, what did the yeah. reactions been? It's uh, well, it's like your typical Atari game where you would sit, just you're able to just sit down, play, and just be able to play it right away without reading any instruction or anything because it's yeah. like oh, just shoot the thing and then you're done or whatever, yeah. right? Shoot the aliens. Right. Very straightforward, one button. Yeah. Exactly. So, so but, what are the complications? Yeah. Uh, that we're leading up to here and uh, yeah. Well, two <laughs> buttons. Yeah. Uh, uh, the oh. oh. Don't want to break it. Don't want to break it. We just got it plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> two, yeah, uh, two button support, shoot yeah. and jump. Yeah. So uh, Albert just found the uh, Genesis controller. Yeah. So everybody was trying to play with a regular Atari joystick. Didn't realize you could like shoot. And, and you do have an <laughs> option for a single button to wait to play it as a single yes. button. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like with a regular Atari joystick here. Yeah. Uh, you just press the button to jump, and you press up to fire. Right. I've, I've never been a fan of pressing up to jump on games. I, I kind of yeah. hate that. So it's like I'll just have the, you know, I'll just do the other way where it's the action button to jump and up to fire because you don't use up or anything else in the game. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's no ladders in this one. No. No Mega Man ladders. Yeah. Nope. You just uh, all the other directions and buttons that they are in use, like yeah. you know, down and jump, so you can change your power and things like that. Right. Yeah. Now, is this completed? I know it's been an ongoing process. It's a long. Yeah. I mean, it's a big <laughs> I game. It is that. a complex right. game with a lot of moving parts in it. Mm -hmm. um, so, are you close to being done? Yes. Or is it done? Did you say this is it? This is pretty much it. The only thing that's left is to give it to my beta testers, see if they can find anything else wrong with it. And this time I'm going to tell them to try to break the game because I've never done that in the past. Uh, okay. And they played a few times and they're like, yeah, it's good. And then that's it. It's like, well, I need to know like more if there's like any way you can break it. So I got to do that. Yeah. But it's um, feature complete? Like yes. everything's there? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, everything's there. I might just add a few little like fine touches like uh, with polishing. You know, make right. things look a little bit nicer, you know, things like that. Yeah, just um, things, yeah. Right, and uh, maybe fix a few bugs. I, I did see one happen while I was playing it. <laughs> it's a new one that just cropped up, so I gotta fix that. Yeah. Or if you scroll on the enemy on the that's on this side, yeah. and he's just barely off, he'll fall through the, oh, the floor. Okay. So yeah. he doesn't have the detection for that. All the so. edge case things, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. just little tiny stuff like that. But other than that, yeah, it's done. Uh, some of the artwork's already finished. Oh, great. For the manual and the uh, box art and all that. Yeah. So so it's gonna. I'm, my my goal is to get it out this 
year, the oh, very end really? of this year. Ah. Now, I don't know how long it takes Albert to really you know, be able to produce all this stuff, so yeah. I would say look for the beginning of probably next year. Oh, that's very exciting. This is a game yeah. I've been really looking forward to being completed. <laughs> and I've been looking really forward to finishing it. <laughs> we've been playing it on the show for right. many years, and I'm like, oh, it's getting better and better each yeah. generation. Yeah, I, I keep changing things up because I, I figure out you know what works, what doesn't, or like some people, like I had one beta tester who finished it the same day. Wow, okay. And I thought, okay, maybe it's too easy. So I actually made it harder, but I know for some people it might be too hard now. Yeah, yeah. and there's just yeah. one level setting. There's no hard, easy? No. Or, okay, that's oh. harder to do when, mm -hmm. like, how, how easy or hard to make it. So, yeah, it's good to yeah, have the, the testers. it's not a bad idea, though, to, to have that as an option. Yeah, oh, no, I'm giving you ideas. Yeah, so I know, I know, further. it's just... <laughs> I know that's the one thing. It's like, oh, well, now there's going to be another couple month delay. Oh, no, no. It's, no it's what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, oh, Chris. No uh, it's for, good to finally meet you, too. Yeah, it's great to meet you yeah. as well. All right. And uh, yeah, so many developers here. Yes, I there is. I take advantage of interview them all. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's too bad I didn't uh, run across you in 2018. I saw you were here, but I never oh. introduced myself back oh, then. Oh, that's yeah. okay. Yeah, I'll take advantage of it now. So all right. thank you so much. Yeah. We'll talk to you soon. All right.